Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. About to get started here and towing the slab here, JP France. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. The pitch. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Joey Gallo with a shot to the opposite field. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Well, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Number 47, the next twin up to hit. And a bunt towards third. Bare hands it, tough play, and they oh. get the out. Batting third, the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Here's Carlos Correa. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. First pitch nope. doesn't find the zone. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, a swing that like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One gone runner at first. Alex Kirilov now at the plate. He's going, he's Correa going. goes. Center field. Myers settles under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That's out number two. That is it. The third baseman. Royce Lewis. Here's Royce Lewis. That ball misses, one, no and that's ball one. Come on, Houston. That's through there for a strike. Swing and a high fly ball in the air, left field. That one back. And that ball is out of here. He sends a rocket to left. His second of the year. It's 3 nothing. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So two away with nobody on. And next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. Hey. Strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Hey. 
That clips the corner. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Two down, nobody on. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And on the hill, Sonny Gray. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side Jose Altuve the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one That one missed. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. There's the strike. Next pitch has popped up. Kirilov in position. Brings it in. One up, one down. Batting second. Not shortstop. Jeremy. Jeremy Pena digs in now. Pretty unique upbringing for Jeremy Pena, at least in terms of a kid who was born in the Dominican Republic, but then he moved to Rhode Island. Not exactly a baseball hotbed, and he played his college ball at Maine he was a University of Maine black bear and then went on to be a third round pick of the Astros in 2018 goodness I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat you don't get many like that in that location I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound and strike two And the pitch. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. Here's a one two. Got it by him for the K. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. You're Don Alvarez. In the box now, no balls and a strike. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Oh, and two now. That's down One and ball. in. Two strike. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Astros are down quietly. They trail it here, three nothing. Top of the second, Ryan Jeffers at the plate. The catcher, Ryan Jeffers.
Yeah, the right hander back to work. That's Just cool. missed. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Here comes a pinch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Now three and one. Next offering is fouled back. Three two now. And that's ball four. Thank you, man. Leading off for Minnesota. The designated. This is Willie Castro. He's going. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. One out in the second. Michael A. Taylor will hit next. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. Rips that one to right. Tucker makes the grab for the second out. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. So the lineup flips over, and now it's Joey Gallo. He let off the game with a home run. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Ground ball to Brayu. He takes it on his own. That's out number three. Twins wind up stranding one, but they lead it three nothing. Back here in Houston, and now the veteran third baseman, Alex Bregman. Third baseman. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015. He wears that number on his back, number two. And Singy, he was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. First yeah, offering misses no. badly for ball one. Oh, Boog, a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second overall, but Alex Bregman seems to have carried that as a chip on his shoulder over the years, not being the number one pick overall and he's played in such a way where he's always trying to show people that he's the best and it's translated on both sides of the ball hey. on the outside corner now two balls and a strike Looking for the K. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Kyle Tucker. That pitch clips the outside corner. That's strike one. One down, base is empty. Yeah. Clips the corner, and it's nothing in two. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. 
But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. That's inside. It's a ball and two strikes. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boop, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. Jose Abreu up to hit. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Whips it to Kirilov. That takes care of Abreu. That's the inning. Nothing across here this half. We play two full. It's the Twins three and the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston, here's a speed threat, number 47. Edward. Crawley's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. That's in for a strike on the outside corner, and it's 0-1. On the ground to third, and it goes just foul. The 0-2. Set down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. And here comes Carlos Correa. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Correa playing up the middle at short, 28 years old. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. In there and it's 0-1. Swings through that one. No Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Inside. Next pitch misses inside, and a count one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a one-two again. And now two and two. Two strikes. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Alex Kirilov. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Pitch is in there. Strike one. In the air, left side, and it drops in. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. The batter. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. He's already homered in this one. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Righty to the plate. Off the mark there, and it's a ball and a strike. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Fouled off. He was late. The one two. Ball. Kirilov, the runner at first with two gone. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. And that's the strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. One left for Minnesota. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Hey. 
And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake Myers. The right-hander back to work. And that one is in for a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Right-hander kicks, deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And a pitch. Out towards left center. Taylor makes his way towards it. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And first offering is fouled off. Nice, easy stroke. Let's go. Out towards right center field. Taylor under it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. Batting nine. The catcher, Martin Maldonado. Martin Maldonado up to hit. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. And first offering is fouled off. Come on, guys. Don't blow it. Runner leads away at second. And now oh, it's even dear. up. And that oh, one just off missed off the outside edge. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Righty delivers. Struck him out looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be now thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Okay. Not how you want to go down in an oh, RBI okay. spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Come on, Jose. Altuve, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next nope. offering upstairs. Singing, you think about all the success Altuve's had in the postseason, including the walk-off homer off of the Yankees and Araldis Chapman in 2019. Only Manny Ramirez has more postseason home runs in Major League history. Two outs and one in scoring position. Lifted in the air, out to left. And they get Altuve for the out. And that's the inning. So the Astros leave one. Still down 3-0. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. Max Kepler. France back to work. Little chopper rolls foul. Yeah. 
Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch, can't catch up. Next one off the plate inside. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Brian Jeffers, the next to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Jeffers. There's a strike. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. That one ripped. Dubon raging back towards the wall, still going back, and it hits the top of the wall. Jeffers into second, and he's got a double. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Man at second with one away. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Willie Castro. Grounded out his first time. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. And the 2 And now one and two. And a swing and a miss. And two away now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Michael A. Taylor, the next twin up to hit. Lace down the line, base hit right field. Jeffers, around third, he will score, and it's 4 nothing. He was all over that one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Here's Joey Gallo. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. And ball one. Ball one, no strike. Just missed. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Knocks it down. The throw is still in time, and they do get the third out of the inning. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Twins four and the Astros nothing. Back here at the ballpark and now Jeremy Pena. Not shortstop. Jeremy Pena, Chris, what a story. 2022 and the impact he had in the playoffs. 
He was not only the ALCS MVP, but he was also the World Series MVP where the Astros won it all. They say it went. I think what's so impressive is that he had some really big shoes to fill in Carlos Correa departing as a free agent. And this kid looked like he'd been in the big leagues for a much longer time than he had. Very impressive on one both ball, sides of the ball. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's one and two. One that pitch. misses. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he did. Freddie Ferguson rings him up. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Went down on strikes his first time through. Alvarez. That misses, and it's one to no. And delivers oh, outside. Okay. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. In the air to left center. Gallo in position. And makes the grab. Out number two. Third baseman number two, Allen. Two outs, space is empty. Now the third baseman, Alex Bregman. In there for strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Strike two. Real oh, ugly 0-1 yeah. swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Next one offering ball. in the dirt. And that's ball one. Well struck left field. Gallo going back on it. Back some more. Leaps and holds it in against the wall. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail it here, four nothing. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, number 47. Edward Julian. The why to kick the pitch. Swings through that. Good nope. eye right there. One and one. The wind and the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the right hander deals. Popped up. Tucker on the move. Pulls it in for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Number four, shortstop, Carlos Correa. Correa at the, at the plate and takes high there. Counts one and zero. Oh. That one it's inside. Right. Two balls, no strikes. The count. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Grabs it on the run. Two away down. The first baseman, number 19, Alex. Two outs, base is empty. 
Alex Kirilov now at the plate one for two. First offering misses the mark. And that's outside. Started to swing, held up. Three ball, no strike. Three oh down. And he takes a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Parker Mashinsky taking over on the mound, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. So up next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. One for two with a two run homer back in the first. Ball one low. Kirilov off of first with two away. Checked his swing of the 1 0 and appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. And that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now batting. The right view. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now batting Max yeah. Kepler. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next nope. pitch off the play. And yeah, the count even one and one. Action in the pen down there. Brian Abreu, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Ball to strike. Line drive. Makes the catch, inning over. Twin strand a pair, but they're in front 4 nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Singy Kyle Tucker has done a little bit of everything. He's won a World Series. He's been an all-star. He's won a gold glove. And a guy who was the fifth overall pick in the 2015 hey. draft. In there at the knees, 0-1. He's been a guy that can kind of fly under the radar, but not so much anymore. Everyone's aware of the damage that he can do in that lineup. But a guy that's kind of old school, doesn't wear the batting gloves, just goes up there and rakes, got a great arm in the outfield as well. Definitely the pride of Plant High School in Tampa, Florida. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next one misses, and it's a full count. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. The other way, puts it away for the out. Now back, the first baseman, Jose Abreu. And next to hit for Houston, Jose Abreu. Grounded out to short in his first trip.
Swing and a ball lifted left field. Gallo in position. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The center fielder, number six, Jake. Jake Myers, Myers. Up next for the Astros. Doubled his first time up. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And there's a ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That's a little bit high, maybe. And now three and one. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. On the ground to third. Lewis throws to first. That ends the inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. They're down four nothing. Top of the sixth inning, and now the Twins catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Ryan Jeffers. Let's go, Astros. And here it comes. Pitch misses there. One and oh. Mashinsky, a six foot lefty, he throws a curveball, a cutter, a four seamer, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Off the mark there. Two and one. Out there to center. Myers hauls it in, and there's one away. Now that the designated hitter, Willie. And next is the designated Castro. hitter, Willie Castro. Castro, 25 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And that's in there for strike one. You know, Booth, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. He's got it, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder the coming field, open instead field. of staying closed. Michael if he a does field. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Oh, one's the count. And a pitch. Ball oh, one there. Aye. And that's in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Twins four and the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston, here's the left fielder, Mauricio Dubon. The pitch. Good eye right there. Well, these Astros just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. Here's a one-two. 
And that's down it away. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and mid end. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Yeah, the batter now, Martin Maldonado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Now so the Houston lineup turns game. over. Okay. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. Altuve. Well, Singy, one of the smallest guys in all of baseball, but the resume is incredible. An MVP in 2017, he's won the World Series twice, oh, six times a silver slugger, three times a batting champ, eight different times he has been an all-star. What a career he's put together. And now two and nothing. Yeah, and just continuing in the line of Bagwell and Biggio and guys in the Hall of Fame, um, he's headed there himself, Boog, but one thing about it, you mentioned that size does not hold him back. You know, only Manny Ramirez has more postseason home runs in Major League Baseball history than Jose Altuve. There's a strike, three and one. And now it's filled up. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Stands in now and watches strike one. And he can't come up with it. But goes to out. second with it and they get the out. Stayed with the play and that'll end the inning. So one hit is all they get. We're through six full. It's the Twins four and the Astros nothing. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Joey Gallo. The pitch. Slider misses outside. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Brian Abreu appears to be getting loose. Pitch nope. misses there, and the count is 2-0. Two, oh. two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Got it started a little too early, strike one. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking... Is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Got 
Next offering is downstairs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Number 47, the next twin up to hit. Edward Juliet. That one misses, and that is ball one. And another ball. And it is two and one. Left hand hitter waits. That's a little bit low. Left hand batter waits. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even oh, much to think about. The, the shortstop, Carlos Morea. Correa, the next to hit, takes ball one. Runner on the goal. Foul ball. Mashinsky picks the first, and he's back in safely. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. Here's the pinch runner for the Twins, Donovan Solano. And the pitch. Knocks it down in the hole. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Now back. The first beat. Alex Alex Kirilov digs in now. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Solano stands at second with two gone. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. Twins wind up stranding one. They lead 4 nothing. Now into the game, Donovan Solano. He'll play second. Back here at the ballpark. And now the DH, Jordan Alvarez. The designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Gray, back to work. And a good eye there. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch. Three. And down on strikes. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. 
Bregman. And now it's Alex Bregman. In there, and it's 0-1. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. The 2 Just off the inside edge. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. The one two back to the mound it hit him slings the first two up two down definitely some concern here that ball came back and got him right on the pitching arm as you can see him trying to shake it off and if nothing else you worry about him getting some dead arm and losing some feeling but from what I can tell I think they're gonna let him continue and that's a really good sign so next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. And the pitch is in for a strike, going one. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Rip, but it curls foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Kirilov. He handles it himself. Play made, that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. A new pitcher in the game, Brian Abreu. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's a one one. That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Max Kepler at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Abreu, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. And that one is inside ball one. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Ryan Stanek up and throwing. Yeah. 
And now the count is even. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Two two on the way. Swings through him for the K. Gassed it right by him. Very strong coming out of the pin so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Jeffries in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is fouled back. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So two down, Willie Castro, the next twin up to hit. First pitch, not close. Next offering is in for a strike. Fastball right back to the mound. Fires over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for Minnesota, but they lead it four to nothing. On the mound now for the Twins, Griffin Jacks. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. Abreu. And here it comes. That's a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Now the 0-1. Ball. I got one ball, one strike. That one fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss struck him out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off to two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bullpen activity starting up now. Emilio Pagan preparing to come on if needed. And there's the strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. That misses the zone, and the count is even two and two. And now the count filled up three and two.
On the ground to first. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. So, a man aboard. So, next up for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Myers, the base runner at first with one out. The oh. next offering misses. 1 and 1. Oh, one strike. Now one miss. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Right-handed reliever. And that's outside. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Kirilov makes the grab, and there's two gone. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Man at first, next to hit, Martin Maldonado. Swing and a miss. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. That one not close. And now it's even one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Next offering upstairs. Stays alive. Two outs. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Rafael Montero. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. And now for the Twins, Michael A. Taylor. One for three. Michael A. Taylor. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Montero, the six-foot righty, he features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. So up next, Joey Gallo. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat.
Donovan Solano in the box now. No balls and a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Stanek getting ready to go. The 0 1. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Twins four and the Astros nothing. The left-hander on now, Giovanni Moran. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Astros' leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Altuve. The pitch. Cap dances out of the way of that one. And there's a ball. That one finds the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Boo, you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Pena in Whoa, now. Takes down. ball one off the plate. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Emilio Pagan warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, here we go. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. Altuve around third. The relay to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Comes through with the RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So a man aboard. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Edge of the zone, call the strike. Four and one. Pena leads off second with nobody out. Next offering is down low. Foul ball there. Man at second. And that one is lifted in the air. Gallo makes the catch. And there's one away. Third baseman number two. Allen. Bregman. Jorge Lopez. On to try and close it out. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Here's Alex Bregman.
First off. Bring it just misses. And that drops in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. In there. And so now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And downstairs. Riding to the plate. And that one hit to first. And foul ball. And the righty deals. And a curve misses outside. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Here comes a 3 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. On the ground to third. Whips it to Kirillov. And just one out remaining for Houston. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. That's in for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Now this one gets through. Pena coming home, and that rolls into the corner. Run comes in from second, and it's now a two-run game. Not in time. He's got a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And it's scored position with two away. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Hits slowly on the ground, and he grabs it in foul ground. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Two-run game, a two-away here in the bottom of the ninth. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.